ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, and another subscriber craft review. I've been doing an awful lot of these, but that's because I have an awful lot to do. I have uh, quite an impressive uh, Santa list to get through, and, well, this is next on the list. This is the Light Cruiser by AJ Fighter 222 but before we get on to the actual review, there is some news. I have a... I literally just forgot the name of the thing. A discourse. Discourse? Yeah, that's the one. A talky thingy me bobby chat room what's it. That of my very own. That uh, there'll be a link in the description. And also on the uh, about page of the channel. If you want to hang out there. It's cool. We talk about From the Depths. We talk about, I guess, the channel and stuff like that. So come on over. Say hi. Okay. That's actually all the news. I thought there was more news, but... Uh, yeah, that's basically all the all the news there is. But, uh, so, on to the review. So, this is, well, a light cruiser. And before we get... Well, I said before, but before we get on to the review review, just a little note about sending things in. Um, I know it can be hard to come up with a name, and that uh, decorating your ship is a pain in the butt. And sometimes people send in things that aren't completely finished because they want feedback before they finish it. But please, if you send in your ship, try and name it something memorable. Because I completely forgot about this thing. If I hadn't written it down, I would have forgotten it. I would have forgotten that it existed at all. So try and name it something at least slightly memorable. And also paint it. So that's really not much of a thing. I don't know, it's not a make or break for reviewing a craft, whether it's painted or not. It's just, it's nicer to look at if it uh, has a paint job. Like this, for instance. Even this. Look at that. See? Wasn't that easy. And uh, I'm gonna remove that, because even though they... Well, arguably paint can make it hard to see stuff. But anyway, on to review. So this is a... Uh, not... A hugely expensive craft. It's actually around the same cost as the uh, Skilla is right now, the latest version of the Skilla. Just short of 130,000 materials. And what does it have? It has guns, well, guns and missiles. Do not think new. No. It has no torpedoes. And it's reasonably blocky. Just very basic hull shape. And, uh, what do we like about this? That is always a good place to start with these reviews. What is there to like? Well, for a start, I, as some people might have guessed, am a fan of Deadly Blades. And this thing actually has quite cunning Deadly Blades. It has turning Deadly Blades. So it uh, corners a little bit faster than you might expect. So, actually, can that work right now? Can I do... Well, yeah. It does list in the water a little bit. An interesting thing that once you start doing that you can't stop, so... Listening. There we go. Thing does... I'm not sure why it draws power like that so fast. I think it's... It's not charging batteries. Oh, it's charging lasers. Alright. Oh, because it does have a lamp system. Onward, uh, that comes later. So it has cunning turning deadly blades, but it also has a cunning propulsion deadly blade, which means we're in a straight line. This thing goes reasonably quickly, despite the fact that it has only, yeah, it looks like only one propeller on it. Wait, what is this? How does this work? Hello? One, two, three, four. Go forward. That apparently is not working. There we go. Now you see it has shot up to not a particularly fast speed, but it's like only 13 meters per second. It's not bad. Okay, you can stop now. You can stop now. It's a little bit like a wellness python. It's an uncontrollable beast with a mind of its own. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There are no brakes. There. I made it vanish out of the world. That stopped it. So, 
Uh, let's just do that quickly. So, it has cunning deadly blades. It has quite a few smoke guns, actually. So, as you can see here... Wait a minute. 50 millimeter. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll get to that. So, it has... 50 millimeter smoke. 50, 50... Yeah, so uh, it's more accurate to say that it actually does not have smoke guns. More on that later. It has decent missiles. These are actually, yeah, pretty standard missiles. We've got fins, we've got a variable thruster that's set to the default setting, so you honestly you could put a short range thruster in there. I keep getting ahead of myself with the criticism. And 180 frags. Good. Yeah, if you. If you you might notice I'm struggling to find uh, positive things to say about this. This craft does need work. I'm going to say it up front. It is not... Uh, it's not master level. This is... This strikes me as someone who's still not entirely familiar with the game. Even though these deadly blades are quite sweet. So, decent missiles. It's got decent armor on the side. I do have to say. It's also pretty much EMP proof from the bottom. Unless it gets hit right down here because it has alloy, wood, metal. It's, I guess, light armor, you could call this, because this alloy, wood, metal, blah, blah, blah. Let's try and figure out this. So, that is a beam with an armor of 13. Wood with an armor of 3. That's about, oh god, I don't know. 16 armor, and then you have 80% of this. Which is, bleh, I don't know, I guess another 12. So 13, 13 for 12, 13 for 12, about an armor value of 29, which isn't bad, it's not bad, considering this how cheap this craft is, for how big it is. 161 meters, so decent armor. It has a lamb system, which, uh, whoops. Is, where is it? Where are the lamb's nodes? Ah, there it is. It's got here, here, here. And, uh, that's it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the only place the lambs are, so it's really only covered from the side here. And, like, above in front. And that's about it. And that's all the pros I can think of, unfortunately. There's... A lot to talk about with this gun, and one of them is that it has highly, and I mean highly, exposed guns. This bit here I, is not the deck. This is the gun itself. This is not a good idea, because, well, it's straight line, straight to the vulnerable bits of this gun, and in my testing, these guns do get blown off extremely well. Should mention as well, yeah, this is a quite a hefty squash head so when this goes up it does tend to take everything around it with it and same with this one you can see the turrets are just extremely exposed and here for instance there's deck no deck deck no deck and this is essentially a straight portal in there because while explosion clipping I believe has been fixed it got fixed some time ago it's still the issue that if I don't know, you just want as much deck as you can between uh, the outside, big scary outside world and uh, the squishier bits of your turret. And in fact, you it's still a good idea to armor your turret. And I believe... interesting. There's bits that aren't connected in here, so the turret tetris also kind of needs work. Not sure what that's doing there. Huh. Uh, oh dear, yeah. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of cooling vents that aren't connected on here, so that kind of puts a question mark on the advanced cannon Tetris. So, uh, also, you might have noticed that that uh, this thing rolls in the water quite a bit. You can let's see what can we do. Moving out. Let's have you turn. It's rolling. What on earth are you doing? Ah, hello. It reverses. Just a little turn. But as you can see, it's like, I don't know what degree that is. That's like a 20% lean on it. Which is a problem, because that'll put the lambs out of kilter. And also means that these are all... I think all of them are, yeah. 
Yeah, these are all AA mantlets. Uh, so that's a problem when a craft like this rolls around so much. These mantlets cannot aim down very well. So at the moment, you'll see here that it's in line with the deck and anything... At uh, this height, low sea level, it won't be able to fire at at all. So, that's an issue right there. Taking control. And uh, also, damn thing won't stop. Lifting. Stop! It does need an ACB to turn off its, um, what do we call it? To turn off the daddy blades when they're not being used, because really, that's irritating. Okay, so what can you do? What can you do? There is also the thing that... Eight. So, you might have seen it in the montage before, but... These are quite slow shells. They're not nearly as fast as an APS shell possibly could be or should be. 200 millimeter. And that's partially because so much of them is... Uh, what is this? This is a 200mm gun. They still have decent range on them, can hit targets 2,000 meters away, but they're slow. 139 meters? Nah, -uh. it won't do. I've learned this the hard way with, like, APS warheads. Like, you want to keep... A general rule of thumb is half of the shell should be gun, should be gunpowder casing, so... Do something like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 1, 2, 2. And then, I don't know, inertial fuse or something. So, that brings up to over 347 meters per second, which is good news, because a faster shell is more likely to hit the target. It is kind of useless to have a shell that is very slow, because, like, all the extra ducka that you would usually get from sticking this in here... Where's this? Secondary... The problem with sticking that in there, and all this, is because the shell is so slow, it is, it's far more likely to miss, and a miss shell doesn't damage anything, so I would recommend a faster shell. And pretty much every offensive gun on this craft is Hesh. So you see, this is not actually assigned, interestingly enough. So if we see that, that is a squash head. That explains why that gun wasn't really firing. And so that is hash. This is hash. Yep, that is hash. Just there's a whole lot of hash on this craft. Every. Yep, and this is hash. Should really go into build mode for this. Do 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 do. And yep, hash and shape charge secondary. So, yeah, this thing kind of overrides on hash, and I guess with a bit of secondary heat, that isn't too much of a problem, because heat does count as shields. But as powerful as hash is, you don't want to rely on it too much, because it is pretty crap against shields. Just regular high explosive does a much better job, and honestly, I've had mixed results with heat as well. I guess, presumably, if you know what you're doing, it works extremely well, but yeah. And there is the problem of two double problems with the smoke guns is that there's too much of them. You do not need eight guns all firing smoke, especially because, well, this thing doesn't it doesn't have crazy amount of missiles and it doesn't really have crams either, so shutting down an enemy lamb system isn't really a priority with this. So and there's also the fact that these a smoke warhead needs to be at least 200 millimeters in order to work. It won't make any smoke otherwise. And these smoke guns are too small. They're only 50 millimeters, so these things don't make any smoke. So all you really end up with is a rather crappy kinetic route that is also slow. So I'd recommend doing something like gunpowder casing. Solid and Sabo. See? That's already looking a little bit better. Even though not really. In fact, I'd get rid of these entirely and stick something else in. So too much smoke guns. And for all its turning, Deadly Blades, you will notice 
that this thing does not turn very well. I have told it to go... Hmm, where have I told it? Which way is it facing? Okay, let's get you to turn around. Just looking up above here. It's going to take a while to get turned around. And that's partially because you... It's still a good idea to stick a rudder on here, or turning props, because this is just glacial. Admittedly, this ship is 161 meters long, but uh, it really could turn a lot better than this. In fact, that's possibly a good idea, because... And now, if you want... Let's see, that. I might just jam an ACB on there to stop that from happening, but... So, what else? Uh, yeah, I've already mentioned the unarmored turrets, and the deck. I mentioned the side armor isn't bad, it's not particularly good either, but the deck armor is one layer of metal. And I guess better metal than wood, but uh, that uh, is not enough. It really is not enough. A single layer of metal isn't going to stop any kind of significant damage, especially when the guns are so exposed right here. There's actually no deck right here. And in particular, right here, I noticed there's a hole. This, I'm going to attribute this to, it's just, I don't know, forgot to patch it or something, because really, this is really bad. I fixed it. Don't leave holes in your deck, people. That's uh, pretty obvious. And... Another thing you might notice, this thing, this is only a problem if you want to use localized resource in your campaign, but it only carries a thousand materials, but, one, two, three, four, you will notice that, where is it? it has a lot of ammo processes. Also, what is this? Better to stick the jet stabilizers on the outside, by the way, because they need to correct roll better like that. This thing has a few repair bots. Lots of these, though. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe, um... Ooh, I think I think I recognize these engines. I think they were made by somebody. I don't remember... Oh, dear. They don't have proper exhaust, though. You do need exhaust ports, ports guys. You really do. Yeah. These means you think this is an older craft before some of the changes happen. But, in any case, yeah, so this thing is pretty material hungry, so, especially since, what's his ammo, his ammo capacity is not that bad, 10,600, but on the note of ammo, you will notice that it is in some pretty funky places, like right here, for instance, one, let's see, one, two, three, It has two layers of metal, a layer of alloy, a heat or hair shell will take this straight out. So you need space to armor right there. I believe here it's even thinner. One, two, three, four. No, nope, that's the same thickness. However, it is. What? It is right next to these daddy blades, though. And as aforementioned, the deck armor is only one meter thick, so these get popped pretty easily. In fact, an explosion hits here, it will take out this beam. One, two, three, four, yep, and it will take out this ammo. And one, two, three, this whole daddy blade as well. You'll probably take out these as well. I probably won't take out those, but still not a good idea to stick exposed ammo bits around, even as aim point distractions. And this is definitely an aim point distraction. I can appreciate that much. Although time fuses will destroy that very quickly, so I wouldn't bother if I were you. And there's another place. Is one, two, three, four. Ah, yes, right here. And this is covered in heavy armor, which is pretty good. Unfortunately. Remember that uh, the AI likes to blow up ammo, so immediately once the ammo over there is blown up, and it will get blown up because I don't think there's shields back there either, it will go for this one, at which point it will... One, two, three, four, 
one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, there's one, two, three layers right here. It'll blow straight through that, through this th and through this lens, with this laser system right here. So that's an issue. You, this is why you don't want to usually stick ammunition or AI components around other vital components unless you're going for a citadel style of build. In which case you need to protect it a lot better than this. You need heavy armor here. In between scary outside world and everything else. And final thing. Where is it? Is that all the ammo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is um, something to note. Uh, aha, here's more ammo, and this is definitely an aim point distraction. Because it's right at the front. So, you, it's best not to rely too much on aim point distraction, because there's AI settings, like pretty much the only AI settings I use is not fooled by aim point distractions at all, because it just aims to random blocks. And torpedoes are not fooled by them. So if a torpedo hits here, it'll just blow the whole bow of the boat off, and that'll kind of be game over. Speaking of the bow, flat bits. You do not want that. So if I go straight forward. So you'll notice this thing is going around... What are you doing? Straight line, you mugger. Okay, so this thing is doing around ooh, 14, no, about 13 meters per second. If I am correct, this should help. Yep, it sped up. It went from 12 something to 13 something. So streamline the front of your stuff. You really want sloping blocks or even better wedges what the hell did i just do that ah oh, dang it i did weird things uh, fix that later but anyway you actually what happens if i do this absolutely nothing well yes you can do it i believe yay we have broken 14 minutes per second so just make the front of your boat pointy it will go faster. This is this is physics. It is why boats are usually pointy at the front and blunt at the back. So that's something to to overlook. Blech, something to think about. So, final verdict: this ship does need work. It's understandable. Everyone's been at the stage. So you just basically is basically figuring out just the basic mechanics and how they work, and just thinking. It's not if something gets blown up, it's when it gets blown up, and preparing your ship accordingly. Like, if nothing else, just put wedges on the front of your boat and, and give it a paint job. That'll be pretty much it, really. Okay, so as ever, I'm going to finish the, this video off with it uh, fighting something. And what's uh, roughly 100,000? Ah, I know, a plunderer. So hopefully that should kind of showcase everything I've just out. Eh, we'll just spawn it right here. Spawn you on the Onyx Watch team, send you away. And remember, the uh, plunderer is around, I don't know, just below 100k. The cruiser is around 130k. Let's see how, see how she does. I think the detection systems are also a little bit funny. Yeah, she, I think she just has that radar and the tracker, and that's it. And now you see the problem with slow shells is that they're very likely to miss indeed. In fact, they're falling short. The smaller guns don't have the range to shoot this far. Although, the plunderer is losing. Guess when those shells do hit, they're impressive. Actually, wow. I might be being a bit mean, because currently the light cruiser is winning quite handily. So see, at the very least, it can take on a plunderer. Although that was a very big explosion, what happened there?
Yeah, these little guns would do so much better if they are pure kinetic. Now you see the problem with the lamps like this? You can't shoot forwards. Actually, yeah, I don't think... Uh do these things have inertial fuses? I don't know. Well, I kind of thought the plunderer would do better than that. Guess I was wrong. Although, she is sinking, it looks like. But no, not sinking, she's just rolling very hard. Also, she's gonna crash straight into the plunderer. Not a good idea, guys. Yep. Whoopsies. She's almost won anyway, but she just had two of her guns blown straight off. Now nah, she's gonna win. Three guns got it. She's actually quite a big light cruiser. Wow. So actually not a bad performance. Uh, just for giggles, let's spawn in another. Let's spawn in something with really good shields. Hello, paddle gunner. Uh, where are you? Okay, I think the light cruiser will definitely win this one, but uh, it's fun just to check these things. Let's see. Also, I should mention light cruiser doesn't appear to have any shields, so... Bit of a bummer. Do the missiles have the range? No, they do not. Well, the power gun has already lost something significant, so... Let's see. Wildly inaccurate shots. But I think every time they hit... Actually, no, I think the paddle gun has shot itself. Yep, and uh, by the... Uh... According to the statistics, the um, light cruiser is not doing so well now. So it's not good against things that shoot hard and f Yep, yep, yep. This is why you armor your guns. So the paddle gunner has lost more health. Yep, that's why you armor your guns better. Those are just frag shells. They should not have done that. Although the paddle gun is also damaged. So I guess that's the one benefit of very slow shells. Ah, nope, the guns are still intact. Yeah, when this thing fires again, it's gonna be game over. Unless it brings that rear gun into play. Or fries it with myself. This is tense. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this. My goodness. Both charging straight at each other. Backwards. Will it be reloaded this century? I don't know. Nope, it will never be reloaded again. Well done, Light Cruiser. You have successfully defeated a vehicle that is um, less than half as expensive as you. Okay, that was just me. Paddle Gunner is a milestone for anybody. So, that was the Light Cruiser. Needs a lot of work, but at the very least, it is a functional ship. Needs a paint job, though. Excuse me. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, come subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Subscribe to Craft Review. Remember that there's a Discord server. 
go hang out on it, because currently it's just me and a few other guys. You might get lonely. Or maybe not. Farewell! <laughs>